Hi, welcome to another uh, short video. Um, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how I normally check O2 sensors on cars. Um, there's a couple of ways you can do it. You can use um, an oscilloscope and connect directly up to the um, uh, signal uh, output of the O2 sensor. Or you can use a scan tool. Uh, using the oscilloscope is more accurate but it is more time consuming because sometimes you can't get access um, easy access to the um, signal um, uh, lead on the uh, oxygen sensor uh, with a scan tool however all you got to do is connect it to your, uh, your diagnostic connector and um, uh, switch on your scan tool um, all you really need is an OBD2 uh, type scan tool. Um, you don't need an enhanced scan tool. Um, the scan tool I am using here is an Autel um, uh, Maxidas DS708, um, but I'm only using the OBD function of that. I'm not using the manufacturer's uh, um, uh, uh, data pits. Okay, first I'm going to do a custom list. Click on custom and go page down I'll take uh, engine RPM and down here the bottom one here we have uh, oxygen sensor output voltage bank one sensor one I'm going to click on OK I should also point out you want your O2 sensor hot um, um, before you do this test you'd want to uh, at least warm up the engine uh, bring it up to about uh, between 1500 and to, to 2000 rpm and uh, bring your engine up to normal running temperature and the test has to be done uh, with off idle doing an O2 test uh, at idle is, is not good enough um, okay right let's go yeah, what I normally do then as you can see here the output voltage here is swinging you can see it going uh, it is moving so there is activity on the actual um, O2 sensor and if you wait long enough you'll see it going throughout its range I would just bring the engine RPM up now to about two grand about two grand there you can see it there 0.7, 0.7. If you wait long enough it might get up to the point 0.8 you might catch it on point 0.8 0.79 yeah, point 0.8 went to point 0.8 and you also see it going down to point 0.1 so you can see it's doing its full uh, its full swing but right to see it in graph form we just click on the graph and what I'm going to do is for this Go to two graph and we're going to put the O2 at the top. Okay, it won't allow me to change them. Right, um, the engine RPM is at the top and we have our O2 sensor here at the bottom. And as you can see, it's going from point 0.1 up to point 0.8 of volt, as you can see down here on the left hand side. And to me that's um, uh, a working O2. What it cannot uh, check is the uh, switching time, What it, uh, the time taken for go from rich to lean, which should be about 100, uh, less than 100 milliseconds. Um, the scan tool won't do that, um, but it will check to see if it's um, if it is switching okay. Right, I'm gonna keep it up at two grand. And what you would have uh, happening is sometimes you could have um, an O2 sensor stuck lean down here to lean and you don't know whether it's because it is actually lean like you could have a massive vacuum leak on it or is it the O2 sensor is faulty 
and it won't allow it uh, to, to, to go high so it's um, it's a kind of a, it's giving you a false indication that it's lean what you can do is you can add propane um, into the intake um, manifold and that should make it rich you will hear the engine starting to stumble um, and you'll also see your, if it's stuck um, in the lean condition here if you look at your short term and long term fuel trims you will see them in the positive direction um, I'll show you them in a minute what I'm going to do now is I am going to give the, the um, uh, accelerator cable a few pumps to force the oxygen sensor lean and you'll see the rep I'm just going to bring it back down to idle and what you should see when I'm uh, giving it a few pumps of the accelerator cable is that this here should go high for a period when this uh, RPM is high. Okay, I'm going to just... Now, as you can see, it went high. And what it should do then is go lean, and it went lean as well. When you take your foot off the accelerator cable, I'm just going to do a quick uh, uh, wide open throttle test. Went rich, and then it went immediately lean. And now it's swinging back again, normal. I don't know if you're getting that or not, it's my hand in the way. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to give it a quick wide open throttle test. It went from lean to rich and then back down to lean when the accelerator cable going. I'll do it again and this time I'm going to pause the waveform. And there it is when I start to accelerate. And this point was here already in the up direction going to swing, uh, swinging up already. And the, uh, the the frame, the data frames on this, um, I would I would prefer them a little bit closer. But um, this scan tool, this seems to be standard. I can't zoom out. Um, you can see, you can actually see the data. It's every every one of these uh, lines. You, you it collects data. Anything in between that, it doesn't collect. So you you, you can miss it. So let's see. I can I do that again? Yeah. I'm going to give it a quick snap throttle. And here we are. And here's where I arrived. Accelerator went up, went rich, and somewhere around here then I let it off and then immediately after that it goes lean so you can see on that you have down here from 0.1 of a volt below 0.1 of a volt and you're going up to 0.9 of a volt um, on the rich side so we have the, the full swing of that um, oxygen sensor uh, you know, it's a handy test there to say, uh, to, to have a look at, uh, and if you, if you had any doubts that your O2 sensor wasn't swinging between uh, the proper uh, voltage levels. I'm just going to go out with this now, I'm going to also get a hold of my fuel trims as well, to show you them. Short term, long term. RPM. It's okay. And as you can see here, here's my fuel trims that I was talking about. If your O2 sensor was stuck low, which the uh, would be indicating a, a lean condition, the computer then would see that and it would interpret that as not getting enough petrol. So it would turn up the fuel term and short term fuel uh, is the amount of petrol that's getting I have often seen these at 40 and 50 percent on some cars and um, they should be uh, plus or minus 10 percent no more 
Um, this one here now, the long term is at five uh, minus five point five, which uh, is is not a problem. Uh, um, it's not ideal, but um, it, it, it's it's not a problem. Hope that information is of some use to someone um, uh, using a scan tool. Um, of course, for more accuracy, uh, to get your switch time, uh, you, you would have to really uh, connect up an oscilloscope. Uh, there is times you need an oscilloscope if you uh, don't believe your data here um, in your scope, in your scope, uh, or in your uh, scan tool. Uh, uh, the only other option is then to hook up your. Um, uh, oscilloscope to the uh, oxygen sensor stuff. Um, thanks for watching.